Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at an extension today that it's actually been around for a little while, but it's really cool and it's probably worth checking out, especially if you do any kind of uh, wall buildings, if you do any kind of construction, landscape, anything that requires you to put a vertical wall in, you should check out this extension. Let's go take a look. The extension I'm talking about, of course, is Instant Wall from Chuck Valley. So it is part of his, it can be purchased individually or it can come as part of his instant suite. Um, if you go to the extension warehouse, there is a link off to Chuck's site where you can get a subscription to this extension or the entire instant suite. It has a whole bunch of other pieces like instant roof, street, I don't know, there's, there's a whole bunch of them. The one piece we're gonna look at today though is the instant wall. Once you install instant wall, you will get a little teeny tiny toolbar nice and compact with three buttons. The first one is drawing the wall, make wall, then have the ability to switch materials and then manage style. So we're gonna hop right in and look at how this tool works. I should point out before we get too far into this that there is a ton to this extension. So like we have to do so often, I'm gonna kind of get your feet wet, let you see kind of how this works, but I do recommend, like I said, if you have to draw walls, retaining walls, uh, and even some special things that we'll take a look at, uh, it's worth checking out. So the first thing in here is library. You do have these filters here, so I can say all, which I can't remember exactly how many wall types there are in the default, but there's a bunch, and you have the ability to create your own, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna look at this one right here, which is walls and fences. Once you click walls and fences, you have the ability to come in here and choose which actual wall type you want to use out of that uh, library. If you know exactly what you're looking for, uh, you can come in and just grab it. If not, there's this button right here, which will bring up a list. Here's all of the wall types in this current library. So I can see here's all my different walls, my fences, and uh, you can actually pick them much easier when you can actually see the image. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to choose a line. It has to be a grouped line. So right here I have a line. I have two lines that are straight 90 degree angle, and then I have a couple curves followed by another straight line. So by applying a wall to this, you'll kind of see how it all works. I'm going to start with just a simple one, which is this thing called sloped wall one. Uh, real simple, just kind of a retaining wall that's going to follow this shape. Now before I place it, there's a couple options here. One is do I want to edit the style? The second is make overall group. Now, when I use some of these other pieces, I have the ability to choose if I want it to be in one big group or if I want each of the pieces to be grouped separately. So something like this railing over here is gonna have these columns, these pickets, the, the horizontal members. Those will all be grouped individually or I can put a bigger group around all of them. So the smaller groups will still exist inside, but this gives a big group to put all the pieces in one piece. That's, that's great. The last option I have here is the ability to choose materials. So if I do come into materials, I can actually pick any material that is currently in the model. So what you may wanna do if you have your own materials you want to apply, you might want to, you know, off on the side, draw some squares and just kinda of drop materials in there so that they show up. You can see right now, I'm in an empty model other than these lines. So the only options I have are the colors that are on lower here in the corner. So I'm gonna just go ahead and leave mine white. Um, I do have the ability to go into parameters. In parameters, I can actually fine tune some of this information. And when I go to parameters, I can actually see everything that makes up any of these wall types. So here I have options of, here's my miscellaneous parameters. This is how it's gonna be placed. Is it gonna slope versus stepping? Um, do I drop to terrain? That's pretty cool. So if you're doing something with like pickets or something like that, I can drop them down to the terrain. Uh, then I have the actual information about the wall, caps, pilasters, posts, rails, infill, oh, so much stuff. If I'm good with all of this information, so I'm just go with the standard default, all I have to do while this group is selected is click the make wall button. This will just flash for just a second and my line group will be replaced, the line's gone, with this new group that has my geometry in it. So already you can see, very simple, easy to use. So let's, let's add a couple more types on here. I'm gonna go grab this next line. I'm gonna click make wall again. And uh, let's bring that library back up. Let's take a look at one of these other pieces, like one of these uh, fences. Let's 
go ahead and apply that. I'm going to hit make wall. And a little more geometry has to get created for this one. It's going to apply that to the same geometry. Now the thing to remember, it's, it's because of, let's look at a couple things. So the first thing is the grouping. So like I said, it puts it all in one big group. And then inside that group, I have smaller groups. Here's my pillars. Here's my fences. Here's my horizontal members, all in separate groups. Now, this looks kind of weird because the way it puts in my columns, it relies on breaks of the uh, line segment. But the thing to remember is that everything in here is just SketchUp. So if I wanted to, I could always come in and modify that geometry. So there's a couple things I can do. Let's, let's, let's hop over here and look at some more examples. We can talk about the uh, opportunities we have using SketchUp to modify what gets created. I'm gonna come back in here. So like I said, a whole bunch of different options, including, including user defined. You can actually use these parameters down here to set up your own wall type and save them. They'll then show up in your user defined list and you can actually drop any kind of wall that you create into your model. I'm gonna look at this one called miscellaneous because this had some of the neatest things in here. So in here we have things like streets. Uh, we have, here's, a, here's a, uh, some pillars a boardwalk. Uh, let's check out this right here. So this is just a, a path, basically, a little, little stone, stepping stone path. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and just as it is, I'm just going to apply that directly to the line that I have set up here. And there you go. So like I was saying, one of the things in here is this is just SketchUp, right? So if, if I don't like how this overlaps, I can always come in here and make changes. If I want to manually delete I can just get rid of these overlapping stones and uh, fix that. In fact, I can actually come in here if I want, and I mean, it's just SketchUp, right? So I can move this. So it's important to remember that what Instant Wall is, is it's a geometry creation engine. So it's gonna go in and create this geometry. Alternatively, I wanna do something like that, but a little bit different, I'm gonna come into this group right here. Like I said, you do have to group your lines. If I come in here and I select this curve, I'm gonna double click to enter, I'll select this curve and look at the entity info. Right now it is 12 segments. Well, let's drop it down to something more like four. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite curve. Stick four there also. Once I do that, I'll select it again and I'll apply the exact same stepping stones too. Now look what happens this time. It gets broken apart smaller because it followed the pieces of that curve. So every time it breaks, so this is the way the fences are gonna to work too. So if I didn't want these, this is kind of a ridiculous fence, if I didn't want it like that, keeping in mind a fence is gonna have a post and then a straight section of fence between it, what I could do is I come in and maybe I'll make these even smaller. Maybe I'll just go with like three segments in the curve. And then same thing here, we'll say three segments. And with that, I'll select make wall we will go back to walls and fences and let's apply, ooh, that's fancy. Let's apply that. And there we go. Like I said, it puts those breaks in as it breaks in the line itself. So that's a quick look at Instant Wall from Chuck Valley. Like I said, this is an extension that goes deep. There are so many parameters, so many ways to set up your walls and the ability to customize just about everything in there. It's well worth checking out if you do any level of this kind of work. We didn't even get into how you can work on sloped surfaces and drop those stones so that they actually step along the paths, along the curves of, of your, your ground. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, check it out, Chuck Valley Instant Wall. Definitely worth it if you do any kind of wall work, fences, stepping stones, like we saw boardwalks. You can create berms in it. It's, it's crazy. It's, it's definitely worth seeing. Did you like that? If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button. We churn out a couple videos and live streams a week here, so you'll get notified if you subscribe down on YouTube. Most importantly, though, please leave a comment. If there's another extension you think we should look at, or if there's just a topic you would like to see a skill builder or live stream based on, let us know down in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.